everybody and welcome to Technology and Toys and before we start I just want to apologize if there's any background noise. Um, it's currently hailing outside conveniently when I decided I wanted to shoot this video so if you can hear that in the background I'm sorry just bear with me try to ignore it. Today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of Hogor's modular Thunderbolt 3 dock for MacBook Pro. This supports the 2016, 2017, and 2018 MacBook Pros, and I believe this also supports the new MacBook Air, uh, seeing as that has two Thunderbolt 3 ports on one side. You guys might remember a little while ago I made a video on this little magnetic USB-C charging adapter. This is also from Hogor. Check that out up here if you haven't seen it. It's really cool and really affordable. Back to this product, as the name might suggest, it's a modular Thunderbolt 3 dock. You can see on the box, there's these little black things that attach to the dock and they plug in via USB-C and they add different modules to your dock. So you can see on the back, this is what the dock is on its own and you get three different modules. You get one for gigabit ethernet, you get one for USB 3.0 and one for SD card and micro SD cards. So jump right in. And the presentation on this is really nice. Like it, it's not anything super fancy, but it's really clean. So we have the dock right here, Thunderbolt 3 pass-through. This is also where you would plug in to charge. You have a HDMI port and this supports 4K video. You have two USB 3.1s and then this little dot right here is um, an LED indicator to tell you that the hub is being powered. And then if you look on the front and back, you get two more USB Type-C ports. And these are full USB-C ports, so you can plug anything else into them and have power go through them. I'll take a look at the modules. You have your RJ45 Gigabit Ethernet adapter. This is really cool because it slims down so that it's flush with the rest of it. But you just stick your finger in there and pull that out, and you get a full Ethernet port, which is pretty cool. And then it plugs in like this. Really simple. You also get your... SD card and micro SD card reader. Again, I'll show you, you plug it in on the back on this one. You can plug it in on the front too, if you want. Um, I'm just doing it on the back. And because it attaches through USB-C, you can flip it upside down. And then last but not least, you have your USB 3.0. Plug it in because it's USB-C, it's reversible. And you can use all three of these at the same time. If you plug it into the Thunderbolt 3 port, you can use them all at the same time, which is uh, pretty cool. If you, you if you do this, you do kind of lose your HDMI port, but I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used that all that much. So we'll put the box off to the side and we'll drop some of the adapters. And uh, let me grab my MacBook. And you can see this little light turns on because it's plugged in the MacBook, it has power. And the Space Gray is maybe a shade darker than the MacBook, but it's pretty close. It's closer than some of the other Space Gray things I've taken a look at. And you can also use these adapters separately on your MacBook or your razor blade or whatever else you have because they're USB-C. Plug it in and use it like that. So I'm going to show you the setup that I mostly use. I used my USB 3.0 adapter on the front and then the SD card reader on the back. And what I normally do is I'll plug in my SD card and my micro SD card, and then I'll have a flash drive here on the front, and I'll plug into power with my magnetic Hogo adapter. And then if I have to charge a couple things, I can uh, plug them in down here like that. And I'll grab a lightning cable and plug that in there. Now this is what I would use most of the time. Um, I'm not using the HDMI port because like I said, I don't have HDMI monitors here at my main setup. And I'll also swap these out for flash drives if I need them or external hard drives or whatever I need in place of these. I usually don't charge through my MacBook. And you can also get creative. Like if you don't particularly need like SD card readers and whatnot, or you don't particularly need to charge because these are USB-C they will accept data pass-through so you can dongle it up if you really want or if you have other USB-C devices you can plug those in to all those ports and they'll work as you expect them to normally so that's why I love this dock uh, if you've been with the channel for forever actually if you've been 
here's some of my first two or three videos. You'll remember I took a look at the Bandito Blue dock for MacBook Pro. Link for that is up here. Go check that out. I've been using this for a year. I've been using this off and on. Like I don't use it all the time. Um, sometimes it's just quicker to grab one of these and plug in one single flash drive. But I haven't been using this all that much since I got this. I mean, I'll still use it occasionally over here on the other side and it does work because I have four Thunderbolt 3 ports. But the modular Hogor dock has become my main adapter, I guess. And it's a lot better than the Bandito Blue one. I'm not taking jabs at Bandito Blue, but this one's just, just better. Not only does the Space Gray match more, this is more of a blue tint to it than the Hogor one, but you also get an extra USB Type-C port. You still have Thunderbolt pass-through here. You get one USB-C port here, you get one here, another here. So you get two USB Type-C ports, and you can use these adapters if you want to plug in whatever you happen to want to plug in. You can still use them here, like if I wanted to add gigabit ethernet to this one, I could plug that in, but that's like kind of ugly, I guess. There's a lot more functionality you can do with this because you have that extra USB Type-C port. And it's also better than the Bandito Blue one in terms of pricing. Now, I don't remember off the top of my head, and I don't think I can check because I don't think this is available anymore, but I do believe when this was featured on the channel it was $120. The Hogor dock it's only 60 it's half the price for a significantly better dock so this gets my approval I love this Hogor just makes really good products I've been using their magnetic charging adapter for about a month now and I've been using this dock for two weeks two weeks now and I love it it's just it's great it really is because you have so much versatility so there you guys have it that is my unboxing and review of Hogor's modular Thunderbolt 3 adapter link will be down in the description I'll also throw in their magnetic charging adapter because it's a great thing to have and it's really not that expensive if you like this video be sure to leave a like subscribe comment tell me what you think it's been Jake with technology and toys and until the next video I'll see you guys later goodbye